In this session, we're going to look at how to drape a feature along a surface. On my screen, I have a rather large surface. I'm going to select this for just a second, and I'll bring up the object viewer. Let's orbit this up, and we can take a look at some of the relief. Let me close the surface. I would like to drape an object along this surface, so I'm going to start by creating some geometry. I'm just going to draw a polyline across the site, although I could use virtually any object. Now to drape this, I'm going to turn it into a feature line. I'm going to open the feature line menu. I'll choose create feature lines from objects and I'll select this object. Press enter. I could pick a site. I could pick a style. In this case we'll go with the edge of traveled way. That'll make it a nice uh, heavy blue line. The most important thing is to check assign elevations. Let me click OK. Here's where I can select the surface I'd like to acquire the elevations from. I'm going to use the existing ground surface. Next we'll talk about insert intermediate grade breakpoints. If I was to uncheck this and click OK, it will only grab the elevations at the endpoints or the vertices if I had a multi-segment object. If I select insert intermediate grade breakpoints, it will sample an elevation every place where this object crosses over a triangle, so it'll be as though it was spray painted along the surface. When I'm finished, I'll select my surface and I'll select the feature line. We'll go back to the object viewer again. We'll spin this up, and if I zoom in and orbit this around, we can see this feature is now draped across that surface.